Chiana the Short Hair. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe naman po. And for those who doesn't know me, I'm currently an architecture student studying in La Salle Dasma. But I took STEM in senior high school before in LPU. And I'm part of the so-called experimental batch. <laughs> part of that experimental batch. I literally have no idea if I should take STEM or Arts and Design but that's obviously the closest option for architecture. When I inquired in La Salle before, they told me that it should be Arts and Design but when I inquired in LPU, they told me that it should be STEM. So that's basically confusing. After I got my exam results in La Salle, they told me that it should be STEM. They also considered my option and they allowed me to take, or allowing me to take STEM Na nga, since it was their mistake back then. But I ended up studying in LPU because of my lawless preference. Now that I'm finally taking architecture in college, share ko lang if naging helpful ba talaga yung pagtitake ko ng STEM or do you also need to consider taking arts and design? In your high school, as we all know, there's this track na parang course siya sa college and meron ding mga strands under nung track na yun. Yung STEM, under siya ng academic track, bukod pa yung arts and design track. Sa senior high school, di ba, meron ding mga different kinds of subject like specialized subject and nakalimutan ko na yung pangalan ng dalawa pang subject. Ang point doon, may mga major subjects and merong mga minor subjects. So, let me talk about STEM. One of the reason why you really need to consider taking STEM in senior high school before taking architecture is because there's this thing called bridging. Na kapag hindi kayo nag-take ng STEM sa senior high school, magbe-bridging kayo pagdating nyo ng college. Doon sa bridging na yun, ititake nyo yung mga subjects na tinake nga ng STEM. Kaya, there's this tendency na na maging irregular kayo in college. Or pwede nyo i-take yung mga subject na yon ng summer, kaya makakahabol kayo, possibly. Pero, eksaktong pagdating nyo ng first sem, first year in architecture, may mga subjects kayo na kailangang i-drop kasi hindi nyo pwedeng i-overload yung subject na yon, Di ba lahat ng subject in architecture, tapos mag-take pa kayo na itong mga bridging subject na yon, So, hindi ka kayanin. At ayun nga, katulad sa Lasal, hindi nila inaalaw na nag-overload yung student ng subject. May mga classmate ako na dinrap nila yung iba nilang subject for the first sem para matake tong mga bridging subjects muna na to. Depende din sa school. Kasi like Kabsu, may nagsabi lang sa akin. I'm not sure. Please confirm on the comment section if you have an idea about it. May nagsabi na kapag daw sa Kabsu ka nag-aral na college, okay lang daw kahit hindi STEM yung kinuha mo and hindi na daw okay lang daw kahit hindi mag-bridging. But guys, I'm not sure. So if you really want to take architecture in college and for some reasons naligaw ka sa kahit anong track na meron ka ngayon, yes, tatanggapin ka ng university but there's a high tendency that you need to take bridging in college. So, is the subject of STEM really helpful in architecture? If we're going to talk about the math subject, I would say yes. Like, for example, the calculus subjects nga, like basic calculus and pre-calculus, yung mga nilesson dun, itatakil din talaga yun pagdating nyo ng calculus in college. Ayun, kung pag-aaralan nyo ngayon yung function, limit, derivatives, yun talaga yung mga kadalasang ilalesson sa calculus. Helpful talaga siya kasi kahit paano naman may naalala naman ako, kahit onte. Sa LPU kasi before, sineseparate nila yung nagtitake ng STEM version ng architecture in college, engineering, and med. So, iba-iba sila kasi sabi nila, iba-iba daw yung approach ng pagtuturo ng STEM dahil dun sa course na ititake ng college. Nasunod naman, pero hindi sobra, hindi masyado. Most of the time, nagiging generalized pa din yung STEM eh, yung tinuturo sa STEM. Kasi nga, pare-parehas din yung subject. For me lang, huwag kayong magalit sa akin, this is just my opinion and based on my experience, medyo madami yung science subject ng STEM na hindi masyadong ginagamit sa architecture. Oo, may silbi siya sa buhay. Okay naman din nga na malaman mo yung mga bagay na yun. Like, for example, yung mga parts ng cell, ganun, sa cell division, yung mga faces na... So, hindi ko naman siya nagagamit sa architecture talaga. I'm so sorry po. So, let's talk about arts and design. One of the consequence nga, kapag tinake nyo to, tapos gusto nyo mag-architecture is number one nga, possible na mag-bridging kayo pagdating nyo ng college. So, para sa akin lang naman, you can also consider taking arts and design if you want to take architecture. Kung skill yung pag-uusapan natin, mas maraming arts din talaga 
kasi arts and design yun eh. Diba? Yun, magkakaroon kayo ng time talaga para mag-practice dun sa arts. Kasi ako, honestly, may mga times na nung nasa STEM ako, halos hindi na talaga ako nakakapag-drawing. Like, wala. Nawawalan ako ng time para mag-practice ng drawing. Kasi, of course, I need to review for may exam in biology, may exam in chemistry, may exam in physics. Ang dami ding time na artist block, guys. Ayun. Kung magtitake kayo ng arts and design, of course, may enhance yung skill nyo sa drawing. Hindi kayong aasang super spoon feeding na ituturo kung paano humawak ng pencil. Kasi nasa sa inyo yun kung magpa-practice kayo Base sa mga ka-schoolmate ko before na nag ng arts and design because of course, naghanap din naman ako ng idea bago ko gawin tong vlog na to. So, nagtanong-tanong din ako kung ano yung mga ginagawa nila doon. Meron daw silang subject like... Wait lang. Developing Filipino identity in arts at leadership and management in different arts and fields. After I heard that subject, nagkaroon din ako ng idea na if nag arts and design pala ako, tingin ko makakatulong yun sa architecture in a way na mas magkakaroon kayo ng idea sa eco-concept nyo. Kasi every design problem in architecture requires a concept. Sabi din sa akin ng friend ko, may, may subject daw sila sa arts and design na turuan daw parang ano, formulate ng concept para dun sa artwork. That's one of the things kung bakit pwede nyo din i-consider yung pag-take ng arts and design. So, kung tingin nyo, sobrang hina nyo talaga sa art, okay lang naman mag-take ng arts and design. The disadvantage of taking arts and design, masyado din siyang malawak. Arts, in general. Eh, sobrang dami ng arts, di ba? Like, fine arts, visual arts, performing arts, ganun. Generally speaking, I think senior high school has a lot of performance-based activities. Performance task nga yung tawag, di ba? Mga dula-dulaan, short film, interpretative dance, painting, kahit ano. Ayun, it's much like high school pa din. Although, nung senior high school kami, nagre-rant kami na ang hirap-hirap. Pero, so to sum up everything, do you need to take STEM before taking BS Architecture? Yes, because most of the schools require bridging if not. And is the subjects helpful? Yes, especially the math subjects. There are also schools that offer AutoCAD for STEM. <laughs> yun, very helpful talaga yun. I swear guys, sana nakapag-AutoCAD ako ng senior high school. Pero hindi may iiwasan na may mga subjects kayo ng senior high school kahit STEM na uulitin nyo din pagdating ng college. Nag-iba lang yung pangalan pero ganun pa din. But you can also consider taking arts and design track if you really want the STEM. Skills. Hindi ka talaga marunong mag-drawing ng kahit ano. Pero imposible yun kasi lahat naman tayo marunong mag-drawing. Kung syempre, mas magkakaroon kayo ng time mag-practice ng arts. Madedevelop nyo talaga yung creative side nyo kung nandun kayo. The consequence is, mabibridging kayo sa college and there's a possibility na madali kayo. So yeah, I think that's all for this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. And good luck. See you soon.